size for the size of the snake. And they move the fangs real rapidly side to side. And they'll even kind of spread them trying to get, up, get you out the side of the mouth. So. And the, the wider the venom means the lower the molecular weight, which means it spreads through your system quicker. So it's, it's really... Pretty neat. fast. Yeah, yeah, it's fast moving stuff. Where are they native to? Um, they look around and grab them. And this is a recovery. I got, I got nailed two months ago. About what? An Indian cobra. I feel that's pretty good, actually. I just have a little spot that's not covered. I don't want to get, kind of keep track of stuff and keep some documents. They spread them apart and they try to jab backwards on me. And because they, they're hand while I'm holding Ooh. them, so I have to be real careful to make sure that's going to be part of any Yeah, I need to work with animals, unfortunately. No matter how much we care about the animals, things get sick. Things have to be euthanized sometimes. And, yeah. And people bring all kinds of stuff here that is in, are in horrible condition because they, then they want us to perform miracles and keep it alive. Sure. You know? They left the snake without food for six months or the alligator without food for three months. Then they expect us to get the animal to all of a sudden gain weight and survive. And it just yeah. Once a snake starts looking like it's lost weight, it's dead. There's nothing you can do about it. Once the skin flaps start going on it, you can't make them come back because they're already starting to break down internally. So. They, have, they can go long periods of time.